Hey guys, EBV Man here, and today we're going to take a look at the M1 handheld 3 axis motorized smart gimbal, and this is brought to us from Snoopa. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, some of the features. First of all, the number one feature that you have is that it's extremely portable. It does support 360 degree panning. It's easy to set up. It does have multiple working modes that you're going to see in a couple seconds, which permit you the ability to use it with an app or without an app. So you don't really have to use the Snoopa app to take advantage of the gimbal capabilities. It does have multiple modes where you can use it in portrait or landscape mode. It does have a panorama view or um, mode, and it also supports motion time lapse recording. Now in the box, you're going to have your M1. You will have a micro USB charging cable, a counterweight that you can add to the system, and additional user information. So now let's take a closer look at the gimbal. Uh, it is palm size. This is the size of my hand. There's the size of the gimbal itself. It does have a an area here that retracts that's going to allow the gimbal to take place and you'll see the counterweight um, how it will work in a couple seconds. On the bottom here you're going to find a connector that's going to allow you to uh, connect this to a tripod or other mounting unit that you'd like to use. You do have an area for your phone and this is going to support you know the existing phones that are on the market today all the way up to a um, iPhone 7 Plus or an 8 Plus and even the Note 8 LG V30 those bigger phones you don't have to worry now once you open up this area you just have to lock it into place like this so you have to make sure that this lock has taken place in order for this to work and balance well and you extend it this way to bring in your phablet or large phone now you do have a power button here so this is what you will use to turn it on and when you extend it you need to be a little careful but you just pull it out like this and then this is going to give you that kind of gimbal effect the weight that we talked about earlier is right here. Here's your weight system that is going to be used to counter the weight of your smartphone as it's here. Uh, if you didn't have the weight there, then this would not uh, balance your phone out. Now, also, what you find here is on the back is your micro USB charging port uh, that you'll use to charge the battery on this gimbal. And remember, you get four hours of use out of one charge. Now, using this gimbal is a pretty straightforward process. Uh, once you have your phone in place, you'd extend it it would come out like this. It would balance automatically. You'll feel the motors doing all the work for you. Uh, important thing is make sure you have your phone seated here correctly and that it's sitting in this groove that you see there. Holding it, you want to hold it like this. And this is going to give you a lot of control, especially uh, if you're going on vacation or let's say you have a christening or a wedding coming up and you want to take some really nice video footage, this is the way to go. Now most of us can hold our phones in this mode right walking around taking video and for the most part you can get some decently smooth pictures but given the design of these gimbals and how you hold them uh, there's really very little fatigue that takes place and you can actually uh, do more recording more panning it's a lot smoother than you holding your phone so even though your phones nowadays have iOS technology which keeps the image balanced having a gimbal for video recording on any special occasion or on day-to-day -day recording is definitely an added benefit especially when it comes to something of this size. Now the next step in this process is to install the Snoopa app. Now keep in mind you can use the gimbal without the app but I just wanted to show you what the app looked like as well and this is available for iOS and Android. Now once you start up the application what I really appreciate is this visual right here so you can turn this off if you like but I like the fact that it kinda guides you so that you make sure that you align the the actual bar so this is just an illustration a visual that shows you this is the center of your phone and you want to make sure that you put it in the middle so this is a nice I would say add-on that helps make sure that you balance your camera correctly now to make sure that your gimbal experience with the M1 is really positive there's a couple things I'm going to recommend you do first of all we'll go into settings and you see where it says firmware make sure that you have the most current firmware second step uh, make sure that you go through the drift calibration and level calibration. If you do that, you're going to have a really positive experience. So now take a look at how I'm panning and moving around and how the gimbal is just doing a really nice job. Now as you're adjusting or, or want to change the position of the angle, as you can see right here, all you have to do is just move this to the position that you want. You hold it in that position and then you let go. You're going to get some feedback that's going to tell you, hey, um, is this the position that you want to take and all you have to do is then adjust it again and this is my position now and you notice how it locks into place and you get that really smooth movement that you're going to get uh, from having um, an experience with a, a three 
acts as gimbal as this one is. So again, just changing the angles. You just put it to the angle that you want. You hold it in that angle, and then you're set to go. Now you do have another feature that is really neat when it comes to uh, this gimbal, and I find it really useful if you're going to be doing uh, blogging. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring it in an angle like this, and you can turn it this way and hold it in this position. And now what you're doing is you have this vertical view. So you can switch the camera to face in your direction, and now you're doing some blogging, but using it in a vertical. Um, you know, portrait versus landscape mode. Now, if I wanted to go back into the traditional um, gimbal setting, all I do is lower it, and then it will go back to normal just like that. And then once again, if I want to adjust the angle, hold it in the position, and it's adjusted. All right, so I have my phone uh, in the phone holder. You'll notice that I still have a case on it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the gimbal. I'm going to power it up and let it go. And now it's uh, it's ready to go. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of line up my shot. So what we'll try to do is show what I see through the camera. So I'm looking at this path here, and I'm just going to adjust it to where I think I want it. Now that I have it adjusted, and you'll get the uh, feedback or the vibration from the gimbal that you have in that position, the next thing I'm going to do is just walk. So as you see this walk, everything is very smooth. Let's go ahead and start our recording so things look good. Once I see that the recording is starting, I can see the little clock here. Now I'll start to walk. Now the neat thing about the gimbal is that it's going to be super smooth. As it is, the camera itself does have image stabilization, but that now tied to the gimbal itself is going to make this video footage seem very, very smooth. And you're going to see this um, on video in a second. Now again, I can adjust up, down, and really not have any limitations. All right, so I went ahead and adjusted the settings uh, for a different mode because I wanted to see what the experience would be. And as you can see, um, I'm able to move left and right without any problems, uh, move up and down, and it's very smooth going through this bike path. And at any point, if I want to modify or adjust my angle, all I do is tilt it, hold it in the angle, and then just continue as I'm doing right here. So far, everything looks really good and smooth and we'll see how it works going around this corner. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the actual native app. And one of the things I just wanted to mention is that all the features still work. So the adjustment of your shot and if you hold it, it will work exactly the same way. So as we did with the Snoopa app, frame your shot, adjust the pivot of your gimbal to the level that you want, just as you would when using a native app. And what we're gonna do now is use the, the Samsung app, because this is a Samsung S8, to actually record uh, the actual area that we're gonna walk through. Now, all the features still work. So going up, going down, as we're doing right here, moving left and moving right, all those features are still gonna be in play, even though I'm using the Samsung native app. Let's see how smooth the recording is. So we're just gonna go ahead and just walk through this area recording as you would normally and once again I can change things move up and down and still the gimbal is going to ensure that I have pretty smooth transition so as you saw pretty good experience with this gimbal a couple things that I noticed uh, first of all you did notice on the video that the native app recording when I was using the Snoopa app on my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus uh, wasn't as smooth as I would like it to be. But when I switched to the standard Samsung camera app, it was like night and day. Very, very smooth, great experience overall. And I did talk to Snoopa about this and they said that they're going to be looking into it and trying to figure out what could be causing um, you know, the lack of smoothness that we saw in that video shoot. Now the other thing that I've noticed also is when using it, and I just wanted to highlight this one thing to make sure that you're careful with this, is that at times when you're grabbing the gimbal and you're going to close it like this, you know, you pop it up, um, it could catch this here right here of your palm. And frankly, it's happened to me a couple times already. So what I would recommend is that you grab it higher up like this so that when you close it, uh, you don't pinch yourself.
Uh, so all in all, I had a great experience uh, with this gimbal. It's really addressed a couple of the things that I've noticed in some of the other units that I've had. It, f first and foremost is how well it balances. Uh, there are other brands that I reviewed where it doesn't do a really good job of balancing uh, because of uh, the larger form uh, factor phones. Like if you think about the iPhone 7 Plus, the iPhone 8 Plus, the Note 8, V20, V30, those phablet phone categories seem to balance much better uh, with the Snoop uh, M1 than I've seen with other units. So uh, all in all, great experience. So this concludes my review of the Snoopa M1 smartphone gimbal. If you have any comments or questions about this product, leave it in the comment area below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.